Happy Friday, everyone. Joe here with Sports Grid. Let's have a college football cup of Joe. Gonna look at all three games tonight. Firstly, Stanford versus Syracuse. Now they are in a nine and a half point favorite here at home, and I do think that they win this game and cover that large spread. Yes, they have to win by double digits, but Stanford, you look at their inability to run the ball. If this team could run the ball, I could see them keeping it tighter here with Syracuse because Syracuse's defense is weakest against that run. I don't think Stanford will have enough in that run game to really take advantage of that weakness. So give me Syracuse laying the nine and a half and Kyle McCord, the quarterback here for Syracuse. You know he was once a Buckeye and I love my Buckeyes and I do think Kyle McCord has success. His ability to get those touchdowns on the board is phenomenal. Over two and a half passing touchdowns for Kyle McCord coming in at plus 148. Really shocked with the value we're getting here and I'm going to jump all over it. So Give me Kyle McCord over two and a half passing touchdowns at plus 148 and Syracuse laying the nine and a half points. Ashton Daniels, the quarterback here of Stanford, he's solid, but he's just not at the same level. So I'm looking for Stanford to struggle in this one tonight. Looking at our next matchup, we have Illinois versus Nebraska. Now, both of these teams are undefeated 3-0 on the season. And both have been able to cover the spread. So really interesting to look at this. Illinois a 9.5 point dog in this one coming into Nebraska to face the Coring Huskers. Now, this is going to be a tough matchup for both of these teams. And it's really going to test each of them. I do think we've got a lower scoring defensive battle between these two. We got a total of 42.5 in this one. And that's the way I'm going to go. Both of these offense. Offenses really like to eat up the clock and play a slower game. We have uh, Luke Altmeyer coming out under center here for Illinois. And his offensive line needs to give him the protection. He is 6-0 and his touchdown to interception ratio yet to throw a pick on the season. And I do think he's solid enough in this one. But I think we stay under that total rail up coming out here for Nebraska. We know this is the Mahomes look alike kid out there he, it's funny it really is funny you guys i do think nebraska it's too big of a favorite for me but i think the best bet is the under 42 and a half we just look at the defense here for illinois and how strong they are in that red zone this is going to be a huge test for Rayola uh, to be able to convert those touchdowns. So give me the under 42 and a half. Let's look at the matchup between San Jose State and Washington State. Now, Washington State has a strong dual threat quarterback here with John Matier coming out and then Brown, the quarterback, strong passing attack for San Jose State. I'm expecting both of these teams to move at that fast pace in this game. Both are sitting with an average of right around 30 points per game and I see no reason why not to take this one over 55 and a half. It's kind of like how high does this one really go? I really do think both of these teams get into the 30s. This game hits closer to that 70 mark so sign me up all day. Friday night under the lights for these teams over 55 and a half. You guys thanks so much for joining me for a college football cup of Joe. All the best in all your bets. I'll see you on Game Time Decisions talking some baseball later today, so make sure you check it out. Cheers, you guys.